at the start of each race, the master of ceremonies usually says, one to get ready, two to get steady, three they roll the cheese, and then four, the people run they kneel. And then that's it, it's total mayhem after that. Since we've been here, we've always been full. People have always come to stay. We had Japanese people one year, um, and they came especially for it. People come from all over to, to see it because it's such a strange thing, you know, that happens. Um, and a lot of local people will turn out as well, especially if the weather's nice. And nobody really knows how it started. It's just one of those phenomenon things that just occur. <laughs> It was always on the, um, the national news, the television. It wasn't just a local reported thing. Everybody had heard of it. It was very well documented, you know, it's because it's been going for years. After it went on the television in England, another programme about the, the strange customs that we've got here, and that was one of the items on it. And the next year, there were 15,000 people turned up here, which... It just can't accommodate, so the police and the health and safety, they all go mad. It's been a little bit controversial since then, but the last two or three years, it's just gone back to the local people doing it who want to do it just for the fun. Beatles, Rolling Stones and stuff like that. Might get a bit loud. Cheese rollers is only one, once a year. It's good fun. Let the people do what they want to do. If they want to run down a hill and break their bones, it's up to them. I would never do it. I mean, you stand at the bottom of the hill and look up and you think, <laughs> and you go to the top and look down and you think, no way, <laughs> no way. It's a local thing. People have done it for 200 years, you know, and it's fun. Don't say anything to you, we're still being filmed. Oh, okay. I can stand here with my monocular and I can watch them falling down the hill. And it's great fun. <laughs> My name's John Anderson, uh, father of Christopher, who's won the cheese rolling for the last eight years. Since he was about 13, I think he went up and started just going up there to get a feel for it. He'd practice on a night time. Some nights he wouldn't even come home and we'd find out the next day he'd been unconscious on the hill. He's uh, broke his ankle and the one year he crossed the line unconscious and still won the cheese. He was the first one over the line even though he was out cold. A lot of people lean back to try and steady themselves whereas he just runs flat out. And if he falls, usually you barrel roll and then you can just get back on your feet and continue uh, running. Never really been scared for him. It's something he's enjoyed doing. You obviously know the risks that you take in running down the hill. He's seen people injure themselves before, and he's never looked twice at it. He's always thought, I want to do it, and I'm going to do it. He doesn't like cheese at all. Uh, he's never liked it, and I don't think he ever will.
Are you Rod Smart um, from Smart's Traditional Gloucester Cheese? And we've been making double Gloucester and single Gloucester cheese here for the last 25 years. I came here when I was quite a young lad. And my parents started dairy farming here with, I think, um, two or three cows. We've now got about 65 milking cows. And we use part of our milk to make this cheese. I think it's just called Gloucester cheese because it was produced in Gloucester. The double Gloucester cheese is, uh, as I say, a mature, hard cheese. It travels well. So traditionally, it would have stood the rigours of being rolled down the hill. During the wartime, I think they, they still kept it running, but because of rationing, uh, they tended to use wood blocks or something. They would have got into a lot of trouble, even more trouble than they <laughs> threatened to cause this year for um, using cheese in those days. I mean, times have changed and we're all far more mobile nowadays, so, so hence um, people come from far and wide to have a go and to watch the, the spectacle. I'm uh, Josh, I'm from West Yorkshire. I'm come to roll down a hill and hurt myself probably. <laughs> the second time I'm doing it and looking forward to it really. I'm just wanting to do it now. I've been waiting too long. <laughs> I'm Lanslow. This is Steve. I'm Neil. This is Neil, Definitely. representing Shropshire, Town of Flowers. Um, I'm just watching myself, but my two friends here, the second time for Laszlo, first time for Steve. Like. Yeah. Come second, 2009. I'm in it to win it today. I'm here for the cheese. <laughs> Race, the master of ceremonies usually says one to get ready, two to get steady, three they roll the cheese, and then four the people run down the hill.
anywhere else to get that sort of enjoyment. I think it's the adrenaline on the day. Everyone goes up there knowing that people are going to be throwing themselves off the hill. And as much as they might say, oh, that was bad, they look forward to it. It's madness. It's, it's so steep, it's madness. There's no glory. I mean, you just win a cheese. If, it, if you're the first one down, you just get the cheese. That's all it is. It's just for fun. It's just purely a tradition that goes on and on, hopefully. In my eyes, it's something we've always sort of grown up knowing about. And everyone's more than happy to go up there from the local area. The cheese will keep rolling as, as long as there's people in Brockworth like us. I've never run the race, I'm not brave enough. I've been down the slope many years ago when I was a young man, but um, not, not a race down there, no. Mankind has got that sort of adventuresome streak, haven't they? If there's something, some sort of adventure to be had, someone will take it up. And if they didn't, we wouldn't have explorers who are going to all ends of the earth and further as well and doing all those things, would we? Mm -hmm.